don't know if you can see this, but look how busted up this poor old can is. He's had a, he's had a rough ride. I'm not sure why he's smiling. So today we are drinking Bolter's Hazy New England IPA. Uh, this beer caused a massive storm when it was first released, probably a year or two ago now. Um, everybody loved it, sold out quickly. It's also come in my favorite 500 ml can, but they've now decided to add it to their core range. Drops down to a little 375 ml. Gives a little sad because I do love those 500 ml cans. Massive fans of them. Anyway, have a look at that. That is how a New England IPA should look, or a hazy, whatever term you want to give it. It's opaque, sort of a creamy, yellowy, white tinge through it. Nice little white head, which, to be honest, since pouring, which was probably about a minute ago, hasn't moved, it stayed there. Aroma wise, what you usually expect from a hazy IPA is those fruit, hot fruit flavors. So I'm getting a fair amount of mango in this one. Mostly mango, hint of like a, maybe a pine or passion fruit. Yeah, passion fruit maybe. That's in on this one. Um, look, I've had this beer a, a number of times when it's, when it's come out as a, as a limited release um, in those cans, even on draft as well. So if you can find it on tap, absolutely gorgeous. I always maintain beer is better on tap than whether it's served in a can or a bottle. Um, there's, but I think that all comes down to the experience of going to a pub and my mate's back and having beer on, on tap. Mm. Flavour wise, no, it, it's a, there's a little bit of a body to it. Um, a, a little bit of a, a creamy sort of a, a, a mouthfeel that sort of comes through as well. That flavour that I described before, the mango and the, and the passion fruit, does come through when you do drink this beer. It really is a delicious beer. I'm kind of glad that they put it into their core range. It is one of those beers that uh, and, and I've spoken about this before and I'll probably continue to speak about it is, is beers that you can give to non-craft or independent beer drinkers to try that they will probably like. While there is that fruitiness in there, it's not as strong as you get in some other IPAs or pale ales or especially hazies and neepers. Um, it's very easy to drink and you know, being an IPA essentially coming in at 6%, um, there, there's, a, there's a bit to it but it's so easy to drink. As I said, if you can find this on tap, perfect, it's awesome. Um, if you can go and sit in a, in a bar, have a couple of schooners of this, I'll tell you what, your, your day's set, you, you're not gonna get any better than that. It's just a really enjoyable, drinkable IPA. Probably too enjoyable, if that's such a thing. Bolter, hazy, New England slash hazy IPA. Mm -hmm.